Extreme No Money Spent Episode 8. So finally, we are back with another Extreme No Money Spent episode. And for the offense, I mean, nothing really has changed since last time. We still have the same cards. I would really like to make some receiver upgrades and then get like a true left guard. But I feel like this isn't too bad for what we have. Now, as for the defense, we made a lot of upgrades in the last video. We got a really nice middle linebacker, one in Kenneth Murray, free Mike Evans. Also, we got Darren Woodson. He's a 91 overall and the defensive line got a whole bunch of upgrades as well but i'm kind of wanting to upgrade the secondary room especially the cornerbacks because this jalen ramsey he's getting a bit dated but basically if you're new here the whole thing about extreme no money spent is that i basically cannot buy players from the auction house however i will be able to auction them off if that makes any sense at all so now the only ways i can obtain a player is either by completing a set or just simply by pulling them from a pack that we either earn or that we can buy however as you guys can see we have limited Saquon Barkley and Kyle Hamilton, which I'm really hoping to pull in today's episode. Before we get into opening up any of those packs, I've been grinding some of the competitive pass, especially head-to-head. -head. I've been doing squads, and I'm just going to pan to that real quick. You know, play some of the gameplay in the background. I was playing squads with Dreydig, Jackson, and Fish, who are some of my subscribers, and I do that on my second channel, where I mainly just stream and post random stuff. It's called Taunt Live. So that's a free shameless promo by me. But by playing these games, we got a lot of things done, especially in the competitive pass. And of course, in return, we earned a lot of packs and XP. So hey, I'm not really going to complain about that. It was just all around a really fun experience. I would rather play squads than like head to head solos against other people. It's just a lot more fun for me. Now coming back over, we have a total of 16 unopened packs and I do have some presents saved up, but some of these packs are going to be really good. I mean, we got a 91 Jack Cam which we might as well open this up right now this is going to be a huge upgrade for our linebacking core and there he is he's either going to be our middle linebacker one or a solid middle linebacker two for us now the zero chill twitch pack is going to give us a donald pin which i did earn one token by watching like a stream or something so don't really know if we're going to upgrade him up to a 91 or something but let's just keep that in mind next up we have a midfield pack and yeah it's going to be basically what the name is it's i'm expecting a really mid pack from here oh my Oh my gosh, we had an 89. Yo, did they buff the midfields? Yo, I was not expecting this. This is crazy. And it's our second Paul Krause because we pulled him in like, I think the last episode or something. Now, I don't know whether to save him for a set or if we should just quick sell him or we should sell him for coins right now. Ooh, we get a platinum 82 Michael Pierce. Yo, did these packs get buffed a little bit? I don't know, 85 overall. And the reason I say that is because if we save him for a set, we could possibly, since he's like an 89, we could possibly use him for like a high overall set to get like a 90 overall, 91, 92. But yeah, that's just my thought process through that. I honestly was not expecting to pull an 89 from a midfield pack. And right there, we get an 82 and then an 80. All right, I want to see that zero chill animation. I really want to pull the Saquon Barkley because that would be honestly insane for us. What can this one be? 82 Tucker Craft. All right. And then we get Greg Joseph as well. We do have four stocking stuffer packs, which this animation, it, it's honestly, it's really, and I like that card. 82 Cole Komet. But honestly, I don't know if I should just quick sell these for snowflakes or if I just auction them off. Probably going to quick sell them for snowflakes. I've been saving them up a little bit, but let's try to pull like a high overall 82 Zach Wilson. Don't want to see that. Probably going to be an 82 yet again. And of course it's an 82. I don't know. Is this just an 82 or is it like you can get 86s 90 overalls i don't really know but we're down to our final four packs and i think these are going to be really good let's open up this touchdown pack i've never opened up one of these so i'm hoping that it's really good we get an 83 84 not bad 81 83 oh my gosh i was expecting a lot better than this this one's gonna be a pro max fantasy and i, I don't know i just love the pro max fantasy packs i think that they're really good 82 overall and then an 84 Frank Ragnow. Okay, second round, please. Let's get like the limited time. No, it's probably, oh my gosh, it's not too good. Okay, but maybe the star elite can change things because these packs, honestly, they're not all that bad. 84 Richard Sherman. Then we get a gold 
please be a high overall 86 okay not bad our final one is this 90 overall zero chill like hero fantasy pack i'm really hoping to get like a cornerback who's not too bad that we can add to the squad and okay this is gonna be a nice selection of players out of everyone here i think i'm gonna end up taking 90 overall deontay banks he'll be a nice solid addition for the secondary and i'm really liking this selection for us so i went through my binder and i did quick sell some people so we do have almost 11,000 training and 250,000 coins so i'm really hoping that we can pull either one of those two limited time players but the saquon barkley that one would be really really dope to pull obviously we got to open up the zero chill pack uh, it's going to give us the best chance at pulling one of those guys kind of wanting to see the big animation right here please give me a high overall ea no 82s 86 cam taylor brit hopefully that's not the 86 plus give us a better pull 82 overall man i mean ea you just i love it i love these packs maybe the second one is the charm right here but it starts off with a 77 marcus mariota please be a big one 82 oh my gosh this has to be like a 93 at least 86 romeo dobbs no 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 these packs are looking trash now we do have one more of these zero chill packs i mean hopefully this is going to be good for us starting off with a zero chill player it's going to be our 82 this one is going to be another zero chill and it's an 86 dude this is terrible maybe the mystery packs will treat us a little bit better than those zero chills because all three of those zero chills we got the bare minimum which was kind of embarrassing but right here we do get a zero chill pack honestly EA, if you want to give me zero chill packs out of this training I, I wouldn't be too mad but first let's open up the star elite pack hopefully we can pull something like crazy out of this one 84 not really hoping to pull that 86 at oliver okay these star elites might be cooking just a little bit now this one could be the final one of the video oh my gosh please give us one of the ltds i haven't pulled an ltd on this account in just forever please this would be like the first one 86 trey smith no while we're at it we might as well do a couple of these zero chill sets so that obviously we can rank up on the zero chill pass or whatever you would call it i don't think any of these guys are gonna make too much of a difference for the squad so we can just go ahead and pick a random guy and i'm gonna take a kicker you know that pack opening could have been a little bit better it just really trained our coins and our training and we didn't even make any upgrades for the offensive side which i felt like we haven't made any upgrades in like a really long time for this side of the ball so maybe in the next episode we really need to focus on this but i really really like how our defense looks we added another huge middle linebacker in jack campbell he takes our middle linebacker one spot and then we also added cornerback one deontay banks who is boosted up to a 91 overall so you really love to see that i feel like things are coming together really well for us and you know guys i think that's gonna do it for this episode so if you're new here consider subscribing drop a like and go check out my last episode where we hunted for derrick henry with all that being said i'll see you on the next one Peace.